My dear students, welcome to week two of unit two. We're going to start this week by, uh, by exploring the launching text, Leaving Main Street. You're going to read for the author's uh, writing style and purpose, and you are going to summarize the text. Of course, this text is our, an argumentative essay. Uh, so our word wall we are, is going to include argumentative, essay, annotate, space, exploration, summary, mission, and curiosity. We're going to watch a video together about leaving Main Street, and we are going to uh, explore more about argumentative essay and how argumentative essays are written. We choose a topic, take a position, we gather evidence, we present an argument logically, and we provide a counter argument. Then you're going to watch a video about summarizing nonfiction. We're going to summarize the text on your book, on Savas. You will have further practice related to the text and argumentative essays. For the challenging question, I would like you to write a report about Marian Corona, the author of this text. You'll have a self-assessment quiz related to the text. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to collect pictures of the red planet Mars and bring them to school. In lesson two, we are going to recognize figurative language. The word wall will include figurative language, sound devices, simile, metaphor, personification, oxymoron, alliteration, assonance, and rhyme. You're going to watch a video about figurative language, and you are going to click on the picture to take you to an activity related to figurative language. You're going to know more about sound devices, and you will have an activity related to that. Further practice will include both uh, sound devices and figurative language. Now for the challenging question, I would like you to write four sentences using figurative language and sound devices of, of your choice. You choose four uh, figurative language and sound devices, and you write sentences on your note. You will have a self-assessment quiz. For the assignment, I would like you to design, to design a poster about four figurative language devices. Be artistic. Now for lesson three, we're going to introduce Dark They Were and Golden Eyed. In this lesson, we are going to um, concentrate on the vocabulary and the text genre. The vocabulary will include submerged, Forlorn, canals, immense, atmosphere, mosaic, and concept vocabulary. Uh, this, vi this video is going to talk about the vocabulary, and you will have a, um, an activity related to the vocabulary of the text. You will have a video to prepare you for Dark They Were and Golden Eyed, and this is going to help you know more about the genre of the text. You'll have an activity about genres. And of course, the further practice for those who need further practice or for those who find it, um, who find that they want to do further practice. Of course, all of the activities are very interactive and um, are very interesting for you to do. Now for the challenging question, you're going to write the features of science fiction genre, a self-assessment, and then you are going, for the assignment, you're going to write three traits of Harry's character. Let's go now to lesson four. In lesson four, we're going to read an annotate. The word wall will include annotate, context clues, comprehension, questions, punctuation, explicit and implicit. We're going to watch a video. You are going to have an activity. Uh, we're going to learn more about how to annotate. And we are going to annotate throughout the text. 
course, this text is a little bit long, so it's going to take more than one day to uh, to read it and annotate it. Um, you will have further practice, and I want you in your notebook to write a suitable ending of the story. This is for the challenging question. There is a self-assessment quiz, of course, and I would like you to answer the comprehension check questions on page 141. Let's go now to the fifth lesson, which is going to, uh, we're going to continue on answering the comprehension questions. We're going to recognize literary devices in the text. We're going to go through the comprehension check. Uh, comprehension, clues, simile, metaphor, literary devices, characters. Uh, you're going to listen to the summary. As I told you before, this, this text is a little bit long, but it is rich in literary devices, rich in uh, annotation, rich in comprehension question, and it's going to give you a clear vision of uh, space innovation and of space predictions. Of course, you will have a video about literary devices and so on. For the what to do next, I would like you to write three sentences using the following literary devices. Three sentences, one using metaphor, one using simile, and one using personification. Thank you very much. Um, I can't wait to start this week with you guys. Uh, I love you very much. This was your English teacher.